Welcome to Be Smart Together. I mainly focus on Power Query and Excel. May cover the Power Platform in future videos. If you're new, please make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification. Also, feel free to drop a comment to provide feedback, ask questions or let me know if there are any Excel, Power Query, Power Pivot or Power BI topics you're interested in. Today's topic mainly covers the joint table functions, the joint types and how to optimize the performance. You may use the chapter to skip to the section that you're interested in. We have a sales transactions table, and a product price list. If we don't use Power Pivot, we will need to join the tables to get the calculation. Or, for any data modeling and transformation purpose. I am sure you are very familiar with how to use the standard merge queries function to merge two tables. This is the only no-code method to merge tables, but not the only method to merge tables. There are five join tables functions available in Power Query, table nested join, table join, table add join column, table fuzzy nested join, and table fuzzy join. Before we proceed further, go to the Merge Queries window and I want to explain some terminology to bridge to a later explanation. The top table, sometimes I called it the primary table, but let's call it the left table in this video, and the bottom one is known as the right table. This is the fuzzy join section and I will cover a bit toward the end of the video. This is the fuzzy join section and I will cover a bit toward the end of the video. There are six join types, left outer join, right outer join, full outer join, inner join, left anti join, and right anti join. Those are the six join types. Let us delve a bit into how each join type works as we need it for later. The first join type is left outer join. We use this type in most of our merge queries. Left outer join retains all rows from the left table and only returns the matched rows from the right table. Here is what the output looks like. Product ID 9 is not in the right table, so return nothing. The second join type is right outer join. You will only use this join type when you want to return all rows from the right table and keep only the matched rows from the left table. The output will exclude product ID 9 and return all the products from the right table. The next join type is inner outer join. This join type returns only the matched rows from both left and right tables. Here is the output of inner join. Rows that do not match are excluded. The next join type is full outer join. This join type returns only all rows from both left and right tables. The output of full outer join returned all product IDs from both the left and right tables. The second last join type is left anti join. Left anti join returns the rows from the left table that do not match any rows in the right table. Here is the output of a left anti join. Product ID 9 is the only row that does not exist in the right table. The last join type is right handy join. Right handy join returns the rows in the right table that do not match any rows from the left table. Here is the output of a right handy join. Product IDs 4 and 5 are the products that exist only in both the left and right tables. We have gone through all the join types and it's time to go to Power Query Editor. One of the five join functions, table nested join is generated by Power Query through the merge queries function. We went through the merge queries earlier and Power Query generated the syntax in that formula. Bar. We can easily update the syntax and turn a function into the table join function by removing the highlighted code, nested and the column name. The table nested join function holds the right table in the memory, whereas the table join function returns all the columns from the right column straight away. You can further remove the join type from the formula bar, which you have to be specified in the table nested join function. The table join function defaults the join type to the inner join type. Let us talk a bit about the third join function, table add join column. Update the syntax to table add join column and add the column name as highlighted. You'll get the output similar to table nested join. This join function defaults the join type to left outer join and you don't need to specify the join type. I have tested this function against table nested join, it runs slightly faster than the table nested join and the syntax is shorter. I would highly recommend this or the table join functions. Now, let's update the highlighted function to table join, my favorite function. 
go to the previous step and replace product ID 107 with 99999. So, I can better explain the function. As I mentioned earlier, the joint type for table join defaults to the inner joint type, so the product ID 99999 is now excluded. You can add the left outer joint type to the syntax if you want all rows from the left table. One of Chris Webb's blogs mentioned that you can optimize the performance through the table join function with sort merge. It inspired me and led me to explore the sixth argument, join algorithm. Microsoft has documented the description if you're interested. Let's explore the sort merge join algorithm. The result doesn't look right. Because the sort merge algorithm required both tables sorted in the same order. Go back to the previous step and add an ascending sort to the product ID, then check the merge result again. Now you get the correct result. This join algorithm is ideal for the source data already sorted in the right order. However, there is a little trick. Firstly, delete the sorted row step. Then, add a minus 1 at the end of the syntax, and you will get the correct result without the sorted row step. Let's cover another join algorithm, left index. Hover your mouse over to the join algorithm syntax. The description will appear and it is the same as the document on the Microsoft website. This join algorithm is recommended when you have a large right table. In brief, the more specify method and algorithm in your syntax, by theory, the better the performance. The last two join tables functions. Delete the merge query step, and I'll show you how it works. Go through the normal merge query steps. Let's join the sales summary table. The key identifier is the sales channel. The case of the key identifier is different. If you proceed, the output from the merge queries will return null. Let's edit the merge query step. We want to tick the fuzzy matching merge option. Go to the expanded step and you should have the correct result. Go to the merge query step and check out the syntax. The keyword fuzzy and the highlighted code is the addition to the table nested join function. The highlighted code instructed Power Query to ignore case and space. Remove the highlighted code and the highlighted column name. Finally, the table fuzzy join function is the last one on the list. Here is a common error you will get at using the table join or fuzzy join function. You will get the error message when you have the same column name. Use the table prefix column function to add prefix to the right table, and update the column key with the prefix. Here you go, problem solved. Thank you for watching, and I hope you find this video helpful. Please don't forget to click like if you like the video.